Hi, I'm Addie with the Pickaway County Library bringing you this week's preschool story time. This week our story time is all about ice cream. This week we have a little rhyme about ice cream. So we're going to do some motions together. So let me teach you those first. When you hear me say in a bowl, you're just going to make a bowl with your hands. When you hear me say nice and cold, you're going to shiver like you're really cold. When I say what a treat, we're going to clap. What a treat. And then when I say good to eat, you're going to rub your tummy. Good to eat. Are you ready? It goes like this. Ice cream, ice cream in a bowl. Ice cream, ice cream, nice and cold. Ice cream, ice cream, what a treat. Ice cream, ice cream, good to eat. Our story this week is The Little Ice Cream Truck by Marjorie Kyler and illustrated by Bob Kohler. This book has lots of rhyming words, so as I'm reading, I want you to look and listen for those. The Little Ice Cream Truck by Marjorie Kyler and illustrated by Bob Kohler. I'm a little ice cream truck. My driver's name is Lou. Ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling, we're headed to the zoo. I'm a little ice cream truck. Lou plays a jingly tune. Pop goes the weasel. I see a red balloon. I'm a little ice cream truck. Lou drives me to the park. Boys and girls come running. The dogs begin to bark. I'm a little ice cream truck. The kids start lining up, smiling, leaping, shouting, vanilla in a cup. I'm a little ice cream truck with signs on front and rear. Caution, children crossing, look both ways, stay clear. I'm a little ice cream truck. Rose gets a berry crunch. Bob buys a lemon ice, Jose a cookie munch. I'm a little ice cream truck. We have so many treats. Milkshakes, cones, and bomb pops. Fudge sickles, ices, sweets. I'm a little ice cream truck. I'm rented for events, celebrations, birthdays, big parties under tents. I'm a little ice cream truck. We're off to Lilac Lane. Happy birthday, Tony. Let's hope it doesn't rain. I'm a little ice cream truck. The guests are having fun. Licking, laughing, singing. Tony's turning one. I'm a little ice cream truck. We watch a baseball game. The players take a break, excited that we came. I'm a little ice cream truck. It's just another day. I make the children happy. I love my job. Hooray! For our craft this week, we're going to paint a picture of ice cream cones using sponges and cotton balls. The supplies you'll need for this week's craft are a piece of paper, something thicker, I'm using cardstock, so something thick like that, a sponge cut into the shape of a triangle, a clothespin, a cotton ball, one cotton ball for each color of paint you decide to use. Um, a Q-tip if you want to create sprinkles or chocolate chip type things for your ice cream and then whatever color of paint you want for your ice cream. Okay, the first step is you're going to squirt a bunch of paint out and dip your sponge in there and get it coated really well. And then you're going to just stamp out your ice cream cones. So wherever you want it on your paper, push down to make sure you get the whole thing covered. And then move on to the next one. I can get three across my sheet. It'll depend on the size of your sponge and the size of your paper. You can put as many or as few as you would like. So once you have your cones on there and they're stamped out the way you want them, then you are going to leave this to dry before we move on to the next part. 
All right, once your ice cream cones are dry or almost dry, you're gonna decide which colors you want to represent the flavors that you like. So we chose this green for mint chocolate chip, and we went with some white for vanilla and pink for strawberry, but whatever flavors and colors you wanna use is fine. So we'll start with our mint chocolate chip, and what you'll do is you'll just squirt some paint out and then using your clothespin and your cotton ball. You don't have to use the clothespin, but it is kind of a nice grippy to use for little hands so they're not getting paint all over them, but up to you. So you're gonna dip your cotton ball in the paint and then you're just gonna make little scoops of ice cream and you can do however many you like until it looks the way you like it. And when you're done with that color, then you'll go on to the next one. We'll do our strawberry next. You'll get a new cotton ball and clip it on. And dip it in there. And then create your little scoops. and move on to your last color. And if you wanna do all the same color, that's fine. You don't have to do three different ones. We just had this color, these colors, and decided to go ahead and do three different colors for our cones. But if you wanted to do fewer or more, if you had more cones on your paper, that is totally up to you. And because I'm using a cream colored paper, I can use the white to represent the vanilla. Okay, and then for our chocolate chip, I'm gonna let my um, mint chocolate chip dry just a little bit more. I'll squirt out some black, you won't need much. If you wanted to do other colors to represent sprinkles, that's totally fine too. So once your paint has dried enough, you can just dip your Q-tip in there into the paint and then create the little chocolate chips and then let it dry and you're all done for our activity this week we're going to make homemade ice cream all right our activity today is making ice cream so here are the supplies that you will need to make your ice cream two ziploc bags one larger one smaller some half and half sugar vanilla rock salt and ice if you don't have rock salt, using regular salt will be fine. Just when we get to that step, you may want to double bag your inside bag, your smaller bag, so that um, none of the salt gets through so your ice cream isn't salty. Uh, but you can absolutely do that if you don't have the ice cream salt. The first step is to pour one cup of half and half into the bag. These measurements are based on two servings, so adjust accordingly for your family. That's one cup of half and half. The next step is to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So we have a half teaspoon measuring spoon here. We're gonna do three of these. So there's one. We gotta do two more. And the third one. And again, that's one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, after you've added the vanilla, you are going to add some sugar. So, the next thing you'll do is add, this is one tablespoon of sugar. So one tablespoon of sugar into your bag and now you're going to seal the bag and get any excess air out. So just try to squeeze that air out and you wanna seal it really, really tightly to make sure it's not gonna leak out. And then you can set that aside for a minute. And the next step is in your large bag, you're gonna fill it about halfway full with ice. Okay, once your large bag is filled with ice, you're going to add one fourth cup of the rock salt, and then 
you will make sure, again, just double check that this bag is sealed really well. You've gotten the air out. Just make sure we get all the air out. Seal it really well. And then we're going to pour more ice in on top of our smaller bag. And then we're going to zip the big bag closed. Okay, the next step is to shake your ice cream, shake the bag. So you need to shake it for about six minutes. So if you wanna have your little ones put gloves on or something to protect their hands a little bit, they can take turns. If you have more than one, you can take turns, but it's gonna to need to be um, shaken for about six minutes. Okay, we shook our bag for six minutes. When you're done shaking, what you'll do is you'll take the small bag out of the large bag and rinse it with cold water and that will help get any remaining salt that's on your bag out so that none of the salt gets in your ice cream. And then you'll just open up your bag and you'll see it's kind of an icy texture, at least ours is. So you'll just kind of, it'll soften pretty quickly and you can just scoop it out into your bowls and enjoy. Yum. And that's it. We hope you've had fun making ice cream with us.